Videos can be brought into Oracle Content Management in a number of ways, for example, via drag and drop from your local desktop. Using one of our out of the box connectors, like for example, Google Drive, just multi selecting the videos and then on select bringing them into the platform. Or potentially using our YouTube connector that allows you to also bring in some metadata while still managing that particular video within YouTube. For example, using this connector, you can look up various videos, preview the video inside of that context, and then multi-select the videos to bring them into the platform and also store some metadata with them. Alternatively, from our integration with Sauce, you can add videos directly from the Sauce platform into Oracle Content Management by specifying a repository specifying the subbucket and the collection based on content that you want to manage, the channels, and then adding potentially some additional tags as well. Let's see how we can organize videos in Oracle Content Management. Organizing videos inside of Oracle Content Management can happen both at ingestion time, for example, by providing an alternative asset type that we map to those videos. Perhaps instead of my default video plus, I want to add them as a product video. And this is because I have a number of metadata that I've custom created and attached to the product video as a type. And as well, I can edit all of the attributes for all of the videos in bulk at ingestion time. Additionally, perhaps I want to organize my videos against a set of categories that I've defined, for example, something that we call taxonomy inside of Oracle Content Management. Then you can have however many taxonomies you want against a repository. So for example, if I want to add these to coffee and maybe to recipes and people, I can do that in one go for all of the assets. Additionally, I can also add them to a collection. So if all of my team, including um, the contributors outside of the company, work on a single piece of content, like for example, a marketing campaign for Supremo in this case, I could add all of these videos in one go at ingestion time within that collection, making it easy not just to work on that content and identify, but also to share the content in bulk with all of our contributors. Once the content is up, by clicking on done, it will be uploaded to the repository, displaying as tiles within the assets panel. Now that our videos are uploaded onto Oracle Content Management, let's have a look at how we collaborate on these videos. Once videos are ingested and processed into Oracle Content Management, they can be opened to further collaborate and refine the content. For example, contributors can preview the content and the player, for example, uh, also changing the quality of the video to test additional uh, resolutions as well as the playback speed. Of course, additional to this, there's a number of capabilities inside of Oracle Content Management. Users can see individual analytics for this content item. They can edit some of the attributes. They can check some of the categories and add or remove some of the existing categories, as well as open up a conversation, for example, on this item. Say uh, within my company, I'd like to have a 10 second or a five second preview of this video. I could use one of these conversations to initiate such a request. Now let's say, let's have a five second preview rendition called intro. And of course, within Oracle Content Management, not only do you get auto-generated renditions, but you can also create your own, which is what we're going to be using right now. Within this conversation, once you post the message, you also have the capability of flagging additional users. For example, maybe I want to have John build this for me. So John, on the other hand, can open up the same video and click to edit that respective video directly from within Oracle Content Management. Now we have an embedded editor that allows you to trim, for example, videos and create segments from these videos where you can actually save these videos as new renditions. So in my case, all I need to do is drag the right segment and then click on save as new rendition and call it intro. And now this will be saved within my repository, also making it available under the renditions panel for this video. Once the new rendition is added, the page is refreshed and within the dedicated renditions panel, I also have my custom intro rendition. If I click on it, I can download that rendition 
or I can view any one of the available renditions, including the storyboard strip for this particular video or the thumbnail for that video. Furthermore, within the properties panel, contributors can also check on general information around the video, including size, version, and uh, for the URL, as well as have a extensive audit trail around this particular video and what kind of actions were performed by who and when. Now I've seen part of the review process as we collaborate on videos. Let's see also how we approve these videos. Back into the UI, you may have noticed that each of the tiles has an individual icon. For example, the three videos that we uploaded have a draft icon. Whereas for example, this previous um, menu item content has a published icon. Now in between draft and publish, of course, there's a number of statuses like in review, approved or rejected, published, translated, and so on. But the very first thing we need to do is be able to approve this content. So in order to do that, we'll select one of these tiles and from the menu, go to the workflows panel. The workflows panel lists all the workflows available to us. And in this case, uh, we have three sample workflows that we can choose from. And for the sake of uh, convenience, I'll just choose the two-step workflow. It also lists the one item selected, as well as give us the possibility to action that workflow directly from within the Oracle Content Management UI. Now, once the workflow is launched, we also see a status of the workflow and where we are within the flow of the workflow. I also get the possibility to action some of the tasks in the workflow. For example, approvals, we get the actions that are available from within the uh, workflow engine. And in our case, we're just gonna select approve and put a comment as well, because we do get the possibility to also get a comment box where we can add some additional comments. We can approve, which will take the same item through the second step in the workflow. In this case, because of the structure of the workflow, that would be the legal approval. We can see that the comment that we've added is also marked with a timestamp and a user trail. And we can action the second task in this workflow, which in this case uh, will also approve and put a comment in here as well. And once the workflow is done, we can see that both steps of approval, the content approver and the legal approval were uh, completed. And we also get a completed icon on the status of the whole workflow with a dedicated expandable card for the audit trail where we can see all the actions that were performed against that content item. Now that our video is approved, the status icon has changed to approved and the green icon. And the workflow panel gives us the possibility to initiate another workflow, should we want to do that. Of course, the previous workflow that we just run through, the two-step workflow process is still available and documented in an audit trail in the completed tab. Finally, let's look at how we can publish our videos. Back in the Oracle Content Management UI, I'm going to filter by collection to just obtain the videos that I created. Now, in order to publish, I'd like to publish all of them. And I can select all and decide if I want to publish now or later. For the purpose of the showcase, we're going to look at the publish later capability that allows you to create a publishing job. You can create a scheduled job, give it a name, specify the channels where you want that content to go out, like for example, Cafe Supremo Marketing, CX Commerce, Facebook, and Instagram, for example. You can validate the content to make sure that the content is ready. And of course, this will verify against all the policies for the various channels. If one of these channels requires that you publish only approved content, then that will show up under the validation screen. And then of course, you can schedule that published job. Any published job will be visible inside of the publishing jobs calendar view, allowing you to quickly look up and track and trace which publishing jobs you've created. And of course, manage and go back to each of these jobs to modify as necessary. Of course, you can also disable publishing jobs by simply clicking on them and click cancel jobs. Alternatively, what you can do is you could also publish the content right now. If I click on publish now, I can do the same approach, select marketing, commerce, Facebook, and Instagram, just by clicking on the respective channels. Validate, make sure I get a ready status across all assets, and then click on publish. You can see that some items are in draft and some are approved. 
which means that none of these channels actually force you to have only approved content. But of course, if you'd like, that could be an option. You can now see that all of the assets have published status. If we click on any one of them, we can actually check inside of the sidebar channels panel to which channels has been published. And of course, for each of these channels within the properties panel, there's an API endpoint where you can also see the output of that API just by clicking on the curly braces. If you'd like to learn more, check out our documentation page for videos, tutorials, guides, and more. Additionally, if you'd like to learn how to create compelling videos using Sauce Video, check out the dedicated section, providing you with bite-sized video tutorials around how to perform most of the main tasks from project creation over to project distribution, as well as creating and assembling these videos on iOS and Android. Thank you for your time and see you on the next video.